showing that force is directly proportional to acceleration and mass is inversely proportional to acceleration by kscience.com. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So there is weight acting on this box in a downwards direction. And then there is a normal contact force acting from the ground back onto the box of an equal and opposite force. So if there is a weight acting on the ground of 1,960 newtons, there is an equal and opposite force acting on the box that is 1,960 newtons in the opposite direction. So this box has a mass of 200 kilograms. The person is pushing the box with a force of 200 newtons, but the frictional forces acting in the opposite direction are 50 newtons. So the resultant force, so the resultant force acting on the box is going to be 200 newtons minus 50 newtons, which equals 150 newtons forwards. So we want to calculate the acceleration at which this box is moving at. So you recall the equation F equals m times a, and we're trying to work acceleration, so we rearrange for a. So a equals force divided by mass. You substitute in the numbers, the resultant force is 150 newtons. So you divide 150 newtons by 200 kilograms, the mass, and that gives you an acceleration of 0 0.75 meters per second squared. And that gives you an acceleration of 0 0.75 meters per second squared. This person now increases the push force acting on the box, so they're now pushing with a forward force of 350 newtons. The frictional forces are still 50 newtons, so the resultant force acting on the box is then 350 minus 50 newtons, which equals 300 newtons forwards. So we want to calculate the new acceleration acting on the box. So you recall F equals m times a, rearrange for a, acceleration equals force divided by mass, then substitute the numbers. 300 newtons divided by 200 kilograms equals 1.5 meters per second squared. So the initial resultant force acting on the 200 kilogram box was 150 newtons. We doubled that resultant force acting on the same box to 300 newtons. We doubled that resultant force acting on the same box to 300 newtons. And as you can see here, when we doubled the resultant force acting on the box, the acceleration doubled as well. So it doubled from 0 0.75 meters per second squared to 1.5 meters per second squared. So the resultant force acting on an object is proportional to the acceleration acting on that object. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. What we've got here are two cars. The top car has more mass. Its mass is 1,000 kilograms. The smaller car has a mass of 500 kilograms. But there is the same resultant force acting on both cars. Both cars are experiencing a forward resultant force of 2,000 newtons. So what we want to do here is calculate the acceleration of both the cars. So now you recall the equation F equals m times a. We have the forward resultant force of 2000 newtons. We have the mass of 1000 kilograms. So now we try to rearrange for a, so it's acceleration equals force divided by mass. You now substitute in the numbers. It's gonna be 2000 newtons, the resultant force, divided by 1000 kilograms. That gives you an acceleration in a forward direction of two meters per second squared. For the smaller car with a lower mass of 500 kilograms, we want to work out the acceleration. So you recall, acceleration equals force divided by mass from above, and then you substitute the numbers. 2,000 newtons divided by 500 kilograms gives you a acceleration of four meters per second squared. So what is the relationship between the mass of an object and the acceleration? So we've got the mass here of the smaller car of 500 kilograms. You double the mass to 1,000 kilograms, you double the mass for the same resultant force, the acceleration will halve from four meters per second squared to two meters per second squared. So if you double the mass of an object and it has the same resultant force acting on it, you halve the acceleration. For the same resultant force, you double the mass, you halve the acceleration. 
So Newton's second law states that mass is inversely proportional to acceleration. Mass is inversely proportional to acceleration. For the same resultant force, if you double the mass, you halve the acceleration. If you halve the mass, you double the acceleration. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.